Hello, boys and girls. Uh, in Bible time today, we're going to talk about a very important topic. Um, but first, why don't we pray and then we can dive right into that. All right? Hands in the air. Hands in our hair. Hands ready for prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for your wonderful love for us. Thank you for keeping us all safe and healthy. And um, I thank you that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that we can be saved through that. And in Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about something called gratitude. Now, you have heard this word because Mrs. Mack had an assembly about gratitude on Friday. So I hope that you watched that video because it was very good. And if you did not watch it, you should definitely watch it because um, Mrs. Mack is slicing and peeling potatoes and potatoes are delicious. So that part's really cool. But also she's talking about gratitude and gratitude is awesome. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Just review a little bit of what Mrs. Mack was talking about. And then you're going to do an activity that will help you think of things that you are grateful for. Okay, first, let's talk about what gratitude means. So gratitude is being thankful, right? It's being thankful. Now we talk a lot about being thankful in the month of November, right? And that's because there's a certain holiday that has to do with being thankful. And that holiday is no, it's not Christmas. Christmas isn't in November. Try again. Guess again. Guess again. Oh, boys and girls, it's not Valentine's Day. That's not in November either. What is the what is the holiday in November? Thanksgiving. I'm kidding. I know you said that the first time. I'm just being silly. But anyway, we focus a lot on gratitude and being thankful in November. But really, we should be thankful all year round. All right, especially right now when things are kind of crazy, it's really helpful for us to be thankful and grateful. Something really cool that my dad actually taught me is whenever you're feeling like really scared or really anxious, something that's very helpful is to focus on the things that you are thankful for. Maybe if you write them down or if you just think of a list of things or draw pictures of those things, that makes the fear or the anxiety or uh, whatever it is that you're feeling, it help, it makes that kind of go away. Being thankful and showing gratitude is something really powerful, which is really awesome. Now, Mrs. Mack read Psalm 100 from the Bible to you, and I'm going to read it to you again as well. And then we'll just talk a little bit more about gratitude, and then you can work on your activity. All right, so Psalm 100. Um, a lot of you probably remember this from kindergarten because we memorized it. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So that is an awesome chapter that just reminds us about being thankful. And when we come to God, we need to be thankful. I don't know if you noticed, boys and girls, but when I prayed before, I was thanking God for different things. I was showing gratitude. I was trying to enter his gates and enter into his presence with thanksgiving, by giving thanks to him. Now, when we pray, we can also ask for things, right? We talked about prayer last week and how we can pray for others or pray for God to um, ask God to do something and that's okay as well but we want to make sure we're also being thankful when we pray and we're thanking God for different things so I was thinking of things that I have gratitude for things that I am thankful for and I came up with a little list so I am super thankful for Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross I'm thankful for my family my students so I'm going to name all of you because I miss you. Millie, Jocelyn, Richie, Joshua, Elias, Mason, Stephen, Micah, Sarah, Lucas, Mira, and Lulu. I am thankful for every single one of you. I'm also thankful for food, for shelter, and safety. And I'm thankful for a lot of other things, but those are some ones that have been coming to my mind recently, especially. Now, Mrs. Mack gave us the definition of gratitude and part of it is being thankful but then the other part which was really cool was returning kindness so being grateful showing gratitude is also about returning kindness i think that's so cool because i've never thought of it like that before 
But that's so true. When you show gratitude for something, that's you either saying thank you or maybe doing something else nice for that person in return or maybe just writing a thank you note or there are so many options. I bet you can think of a lot as well. There are all um, so many ways to return kindness, boys and girls. I thought of, I mean, a couple I already said, maybe returning a favor if someone does something that is very kind to you, maybe you should be kind back to them. That's what God says in the Bible that we should do. We should be kind to others, and if they're kind to us, we should be kind back to them. Or even if they're not kind to us, we should still be kind back to them as well. You can write a note, write a letter to someone, thanking them, and giving glory to God. Now, we can give glory to God in a lot of ways by showing love to others. We can give glory to him by telling others about him. There are so many different ways that we can um, show gratitude to God as well. So I want you to try and think of some of those ways, boys and girls. Think of some things that you can do, some ways that you can show gratitude and return the kindness that someone has given to you. Now for your worksheet, you are going to write your name at the top, of course, and then there's some pictures and you need to color the pictures of the things that you are thankful for that are on the page. Then you're going to write a couple sentences, just saying some other things you're thankful for, okay? If there's a picture of it already on there, don't say, don't say that thing because you've already showed you're thankful for it, so come up with something else that you're thankful for, okay? Do a little bit extra thinking because you guys have good brains, so do a little extra thinking. All right, so boys and girls, that is our lesson on gratitude. Remember, when you are scared, being thankful is a very helpful way to chase that fear away because thankfulness and gratitude are super duper strong. They can chase those fears away. So I hope that you remember that and I hope you use that. Boys and girls, show gratitude. We're going to be focusing on this all month. Um, so we're just getting started, but um, go ahead and work on your worksheet. Get yourself ready to just Think of things that you're grateful for. And boys and girls, like I said before, I'm very, very thankful for all of you and all uh, the amazing things that you have done and just the way you've impacted my life. So have an awesome day, boys and girls. Remember to be thankful. Say thank you to someone today.